Ah, Yellowstone, Yellowstone, Yellowstone. With a whopping five seasons and many successful spin-offs, 1923, 1883, the upcoming 1883 Bass Reeves, and another brand new spin-off called Yellowstone. Four sixes in the making right now. We're going to tell you the hottest news about this spin-off later, so stick around. There's no doubt that people simply can't get enough of the mesmerizing Yellowstone saga. And in this video, we're going to talk about all the latest updates about Yellowstone. Does it deserve to have a season six? Well, that's a silly question, of course. And also, we're going to talk about the number one news that will make you both sad and thrilled while riding your horse under the sun. You won't believe this, so keep watching Yellowstone season six, everything we know, cast, plot, and more. Will there be a season six of Yellowstone? In June 2022, Kelly Riley, who steals the show as the sharp-tongued Beth Dutton, gave Vulture a sneak peek into season five, revealing, everyone keeps asking, is it over? It must be over, but it's not over. And her partner on screen, the tough but lovable Rip Wheeler, played by Cole Hauser, told People Magazine that season five isn't the last stop of Yellowstone. He said that season six is already in progress. According to Hauser, Sheridan was missing from the Yellowstone season five premiere in New York City because he's tied up writing the next season. He insists that season five won't be the curtain call for the Dutton family saga. But the question is, is it true that Yellowstone will be having season six? Well, the short answer is a big fat no. The long answer, it's kind of yes, but with a twist. Just because Costner's cowboy days on Yellowstone are coming to a close doesn't mean we're saying farewell to the whole Yellowstone saga. So basically, it's the end of the Yellowstone series, not the story of Yellowstone. And we don't need to look at it closely to see that this powerhouse show has not only won a truckload of viewers, but has allowed Taylor Sheridan to build a whole galaxy of shows under his banner. And when Paramount CEO Chris McCarthy asked about Yellowstone's future, he told The Hollywood Reporter that the show owes a lot to Kevin. He hopes that the bond lasts a good long while. And also, Chris McCarthy said that Yellowstone has been the sturdy rock on which they have built a world of smashing successes from 1883 to Tulsa King. And he is dead sure that the Yellowstone sequel will be another star in our sky. McCarthy said that he's thankful to the genius of Taylor Sheridan and our fantastic actors who breathe life into these shows. Yellowstone has been the mothership for a swarm of spin-offs on Paramount's streaming service, Paramount Plus. Part of Taylor Sheridan's ever-growing smorgasbord, the second Yellowstone prequel, 1923, has just been given the thumbs up for another season. And 1883, Bass Reeves is coming our way soon. Back in February 2021, Sheridan spilled the beans about a spinoff in the works under the title Four Sixes, set in the historic Four Sixes Ranch in Texas. It's slated to launch in 2023. Could this be linked to the McConaughey series? Given McConaughey's Texas roots, it's a fair guess, right? No worries, cowboy, because later in this video, we're going to answer that question. So keep on watching. The bad news about Yellowstone. This video is not complete without dissecting all the drama behind the scenes, and we know that the road since the unveiling of Season 5 Part 1 in November 2022 hasn't been a joyride. The news about when Part 2 will hit our screens has been as rare as a blue moon, because a lot of drama behind the scenes and the first that stirs the whole Yellowstone is the… The Costner's Strike. In February, a news came out saying that Kevin Costner and Taylor Sheridan are not on the same page when it comes to the schedule to shoot the remaining episodes of Season 5. When Costner is free to shoot and end Yellowstone Season 5, the showrunner and co-creator Taylor Sheridan failed to provide the script. And by the time Taylor is done writing the script, Costner's sides demanded to reduce the shooting from 60 days to a whopping one week. However, Costner's lawyer, Marty Singer, was quick to dismiss these whispers. Singer blasted back at the claims, telling Puck News that the rumor saying Kevin was only willing to dedicate one week to the second half of season five is pure nonsense. He mocked the idea and said that it was laughable. He further defended Costner, saying anyone who knows Kevin knows how fired up he is about the show and how he has always gone the extra mile to make it a hit. According to reports, these demands supposedly sowed seeds of discontent among the rest of the cast, leading Paramount Network to push back on his proposal. A Paramount Network spokesperson told Deadline, We have no updates as of now, but maintained their hope for Costner's continued involvement in Yellowstone. They also praised Taylor Sheridan's creative genius. They expressed their interest in working with Matthew McConaughey by saying that Matthew has a great talent and they are thrilled to have him on board. 
Sheridan, Paramount Global, and Paramount Network are said to be brainstorming a potential expansion of the franchise to carry on the Dutton saga, with Matthew leading the charge. Fast forward to March 2023, Chris McCarthy confirmed to the Yellowstone reporter that the previously announced Yellowstone franchise extension was likely to feature McConaughey as the new star in the Yellowstone universe. This spin-off is currently underway and was previously declared to be moving ahead whether or not Costner returns to the original series. And this is the series that we've mentioned earlier, which is slated to premiere on Paramount Network and Paramount Plus in December 2023, while the second half of season 5 will air in November 2023. But before you mark your calendar and take out your lasso, there's another news that will surely leave you scratching your head and promise you won't believe this, so keep watching. The Rider Strike On May 2nd, the Writers Guild of America put down their pens because they couldn't have a new payment deal with the Alliance of Motion Picture and Television Producers. And as if you didn't know the WGAA or Writers Guild of America, they represent the big guns of the streaming world, including Netflix. Although Taylor Sheridan didn't say anything about Yellowstone being affected by the writer's strike, all the writers must not be in production while the strike is ongoing. So if the production will continue without Sheridan, no problem. We're going to ride our horses with the Dutton family in November 2023. And if the production will not start without him, you better bet your last horse that we will see the ranch again somewhere in 2024. That's kind of sad. But let's accept the fact that it's possible that it happens that way. The production of Yellowstone will start to shoot this coming August. And remember that the last writer's strike lasted for 100 days. So nothing is sure right now except that if you hit the subscribe button, you will be up to date on what'll happen in your favorite Yellowstone. Who will replace Kevin Costner in the Yellowstone universe? Let's make this clear. Costner won't be swapped out for a new face to play John Dutton III. According to the deadline in February, what will happen is that the next chapter of the franchise will be taken over by Matthew McConaughey's spinoff. And yes, that's the same sequel we've talked about earlier. Are the rest of the cast leaving too? Fortunately, it seems the tension between Costner and Sheridan can't hold much water among the rest of the cast. Even though Yellowstone season six will not happen, it doesn't mean we'll be bidding farewell to our favorite characters. As Deadline first spilled the beans, it's still up in the air which Yellowstone stars will hitch a ride to the new McConaughey-led series, but it's likely to rope in several big names. So our much-loved actors like Kelly Riley, Luke Grimes, Cole Hauser, Kelsey Asbill, Gil Birmingham, and Wes Bentley could very well turn up, not in season six, but in a fresh chapter of the Yellowstone saga. And luckily, Jimmy is in the Four Sixes Ranch, so there's a huge chance that he'll be one of the main characters in the sequel. If they did include the big stars from Yellowstone, this would be perfect marketing for the new series, Yellowstone Four Sixes. A lot of fans will watch the new series, and we believe that Sheridan can smoothly transition the story. This new spinoff is completely different from 1883 and 1923, because we will witness the same time as we did in Yellowstone, and we don't know about you, but we are thrilled to witness the continuation of our favorite Dutton family. So are you excited for the second half of season five and the new sequel of Yellowstone? And which season has been your favorite so far? Leave a comment below, and like a cowboy, let's keep the conversation rolling.